Hi guys, Dudley from the Turtle Emporium here. Today I'm here to talk to you about the enigmatic box turtle. These are a species of forest dwelling turtle from North America. There are box turtles in Asia as well, but we're just talking about the North American species today. Terrapine, Carolina. There are multiple subspecies of box turtles in North America. Um, Terrapine, Carolina, Carolina. Terrapine, Carolina, Trungus. Terrapine, Terrapine, Carolina, Major, easy for me to say. I'm going to talk to you about a few of them that live here with us. So, um, these are not your average turtle. So, people say to me, are they turtle, are they tortoise? Now, in the UK, we call anything land dwelling uh, a tortoise. And the older generation tend to call anything in the water a terrapin. And we, we sort of consider turtle an American term or, or sea turtle. But really, I, what I tend to do is call them turtles because that's what the Americans call them. They're American animals, let's respect that. So, they call them turtles. Now, they do have tortoises in America as well. What makes these a turtle and not a tortoise? For me, it's water. I like to consider box turtles as a damp tortoise. So, they spend the majority of the time on land, but they do like to be wet, they like to be in swampy environments, they live in forests, they like to be humid and damp. But, unlike tortoises, they'll eat prey. So they'll eat bugs, worms, slugs, crickets, they'll eat carrion, but they'll also eat things like mushrooms, berries, vegetables and greenery, like a tortoise. They really are a cross between the two. They're, they're like that evolutionary link between a tortoise and a turtle. And I think they're absolutely great. They have loads of personality. Um, they're much more active than a tortoise. Um, obviously they don't swim as well as an aquatic turtle. So let's talk about some of the ones that we've got here with us today. I think um, most people will be familiar with a three-toed box turtle. It tends to be the most commonly available turtle, uh, box turtle in, in the pet trade. We do have a little three-toed box turtle with us. Now, this one, uh, it's been with us a few months now, and it's a Terrapine Carolina Trionwis. As the name would expect, they're called a three-toed box turtle because they have three toes on their back feet. But actually, this isn't entirely true. Um, there are some Terrapine Carolina Trionwis that have four toes on the back foot, and this is actually one of those. So this is a four-toed box turtle. Um, the reason for that is with box turtles, that many of them are a subspecies of a main species, and on the edges of their range, they overlap and they'll crossbreed quite happily. So you'll probably find that with near enough every three-toed box turtle, somewhere deep down the line, there's a bit of eastern box turtle in there. And that's exactly the case with this one. So she's got four toes, and she's actually got the colours coming out similar to an eastern box turtle. But this is a three-toed box turtle. Now, a three-toed box turtle, uh, they're all small turtles, box turtles. Um, will grow to about seven inches in length on the shell. High domed carapace. And... Um, the, the three-toed box turtle tends to have a, a dull tan carapace but then as they age they get really brightly coloured legs and head box turtles really are an investment in beauty their, their, their form when they're born doesn't really dictate how they're going to look when they're older they tend to get more bright more brightly coloured much more beautiful as they age um, which I can give you an example of in a short while so why are they called a box turtle? It is because they have a hinged uh, plastron. There, oh, bug on the foot. They have a hinge, hinge there on the plastron, and one at the back. And when they're frightened, which uh, this one isn't at the moment, they literally seal up like a little box. And the flap shuts, and there we go. So I'd like to be able to show you, but unusually, uh, for a change, um, she's out, and there we go. That's a three-toed box turtle. Now, the next most uh, popular one that people will covet most is your eastern box turtle. They're the famous one that everyone sees on pictures. If you Google box turtle, you'll invariably get a picture of a bright orange eastern box turtle. Um, now, they do go bright orange, and they do have lots of dark and, and some variations of yellow and stuff like that, and they really are stunning, particularly as they get older. Now, in all of the box turtles, it's the males that seem to develop the most bright colours usually not always usually and also the males are the ones that have the red eyes 
Again, usually, not always, you can get females with red eyes. So normally it's the males. Um, the pictures you'll see on the internet are generally the more extreme versions of the Eastern Box Turtles that people have taken a photo of because they are particularly beautiful. Uh, but they still are, all, they're all pretty in their own way. So, we have here a little baby Eastern Box Turtle. So there we go. Lovely and spotted on the carapace and the yellow and the black on the plaster and you can just start to see the orange coming through and the legs and the head. The spotting is a, is a mottle in camouflage um, that will aid them in hiding from predators on the forest floor when they grow up and this changes, this disappears as spots sort of fade with age and change to different colours. Uh, this species have four toes on the back foot, um, again sometimes called the four toed box turtle uh, but I think eastern box turtle is the name most people will be uh, familiar with. So now I'm going to show you my uh, juvenile eastern box turtle, she's a female and here she is, this, this really illustrates how the colours change as they grow older, you can already see the yellow coming out and contrasting with the dark on the, on the carapace there and the darkness of the plastron, more orange coming in on her head and she will just continue to get more colourful and brighter as she ages. Natural sunlight is great for improving the colours and uh, a good diet including vitamins and a gamma of shrimp in the diet um, will improve those colours. So the last box turtle I've got to show you here today is a Terrapin Carolina Major. This is a Gulf Coast box turtle. As the name suggests, it's from the Gulf Coast of North America. So it's warmer climate and it is, if you Google it and have a look on Wikipedia, the largest of the Terrapin Carolina box turtles. That said, it's only the largest by about an inch, inch and a half compared to the eastern box turtles and the, and the three toes. It is still a small turtle. And this one, the, the personality of the Gulf Coast is by far the best in my opinion. I come anywhere near the enclosure and these guys are running over, begging for food, eating readily out of the bowl. They're just cocky and confident. The others seem much shyer. Um, the, the, the eastern box turtles, as they age, are becoming more confident. But these guys, confident from such a young age, absolutely brilliant. Um, as they age, in terms of their colour, they have a darker carapace than the three toes. Uh, and they do have darker skin, but they still have um, the, the orange colours coming through on the head and legs. So, this is the enclosure for our eastern box turtles, Terrapin, Carolina, Carolina. Still one of the most unusual species of box turtle in the UK extremely sought after and difficult to get mainly because of their bright orange colors which display even more brightly as they get older so we're keeping out here in the glass terrarium reason for this being is they are a forest dwelling species that like high humidity and need to be kept almost damp so if i show you inside and around the enclosure you'll see the substrate we're using is a sphagnum moss this is fantastic because we can pour water directly onto it and it will soak up the water and keep the habitat wet and damp for them. And we can control that quite easily. Um, you'll see at one end they've got a bathing pool. They love to swim these species, they are still turtles. For this I use roller paint trays. They're absolutely great because we've got the deep end for them to really get submerged. But then we've got a slope with ridges which gives them grip to get out. This is safer for the, uh, the young and juvenile turtles. The older turtles are much uh, stronger, so you don't have to worry too much about this. Now, forest dwelling species that don't bask directly like some aquatic turtles do, like your diamondbacks and your map turtles. So you'll see we've got some plants here, um, just to sort of add that little bit of um, illusion that they're still in the forest and a cave for them to hide in. Now, if I'm honest, the, these box turtles, they actually spend most of the time, the female tends to spend it in the water, the male seems to be buried in the uh, moss, he's, he's out today having a swim, I think mainly because I've disturbed him. So the, the, the hive, hide itself is great, oh don't come out, <laughs> go back here. The hide is great, it's important, but they will find other places to hide. 
So uh, just sort of show you around what we've got. So what's the best diet for your box turtle? In the wild, they're going to feed on any insects they can find, carrion, um, seasonal fruits and veggies that they find. We primarily feed ours these box turtle balls that we make, recipes on the Facebook, and uh, I'll cover on a later video. Uh, it's mainly minced beef mixed in with some egg, some vitamin powders, and some turtle pellets along with seasonal veg. They're great to freeze, defrost, and then, and then you can just feed whenever you need to. Um, that can be supplemented with live foods from the reptile shop, so waxworms, cricket, to mealworms, uh, those sorts of things. Berries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, they love it. Um, so all of that considered, why keep box turtles? This colourful, enigmatic, intelligent little turtle are an absolute joy as a pet. They will recognise the owner, they're interactive, and they're surprisingly easy and inexpensive to keep. We don't have to worry about filtering water, heating water. The ambient room temperature in your house will be sufficient to keep them warm most of the time. We don't add additional heat bulbs in our tanks, we just use the UVB fluorescent lighting, the, uh, the tubes that don't generate the heat, to give them the UVB and sunlight that they need to grow. So all in all, they make a great and simple pet to care for. It's also very unusual. Everybody else has got tortoises. Aquatic turtles are great, but they're difficult to look for, look after. Box turtles are the happy medium, I think, are brilliant. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, give me a like, give me a subscribe, follow the page, and then we will be looking to do more videos and do a video on box turtle food. And coming up later in the year, painted turtles, map turtles, and of course, I know you're looking forward to Diamondback Terrapins. Thank you very much.